Yeah, hard mateys. Welcome to the seas. This is Damron. In this video, we're going to cover all the new emissary trade route commendations that come along with season two and the newest update in Sea of Thieves. I'm going to show you guys an amazing method to get all the commendations. Not only that, but this method and route I'm going to show you can profit you up to 80 to 100k every 15 minutes. It's pretty crazy. So let's look at the commendations that are coming along with these new voyages. So we have Hagler of Surplus Stock to purchase 75 merchant commodities commodities at a discounted price um, so we're gonna go over all of these okay I'm gonna show you as we do it you also have profiteer of sought stock which is to sell 125 commodities at an inflated price keep in mind the ones to purchase them are you as a person the ones to sell are as a crew so anybody in your cell that's any crew that sells at an inflated price you'll get that there's also a combination to sell stolen merchant commodities and there's also one master of shifted stock to make the most possible profit buying and selling merchant commodities and we're going to go over all of this and again i'm going to show you a way that's going to tackle all of these simultaneously except for the one to steal right that's just going to have to be you finding somebody that has them and, and sync them so first things first is that this is obviously at the merchant alliance which is at every outpost on the dock in order to buy these commodities you do have to be a merchant emissary i do have a complete guide that talks about emissaries so if you don't know how that works um, i'll link that that in the description in the comments so you can check that out but for this video just know that you do need to be flying the merchant emissary flag in order to do this particular quest and voyage so if you talk to the merchant uh, vendor now you're gonna see an option that says browse resources and commodities you can also buy resources with this newest update for a pretty cheap price so you can get 50 wood you know for 3500 gold so that's great but we're not covering that in this video so tab over and now we've got our commodities and there's seven different commodities okay so we have unfiltered gems stones we have some spices we have tea we have raw sugar we have seven different items that correspond to the seven different outposts and wow. each particular outpost is going to quote have a surplus of one and they're also going to be in need of another one and if you look to the book to the left of the outpost and you need to go to the area you are so right now we're at plunder outpost so i'm going to hit the ancient isles so i can say plunder outpost is seeking broken stone and they have a surplus or surplus of raw sugar right so what that means is is i can buy items aka raw sugar from this vendor at a discounted price because they have a lot and if i have broken stone i can sell it to this vendor for an inflated price so if you look at other you know outposts in this book they're all going to be set for a seven day period in real world time so for example here for one week daggertooth outpost is going to seek and pay more for raw sugar so now if we go back into the vendor we're looking at these commodities they're all where you're at so i'm at plunder who has a surplus of raw sugar they're always going to sell three items of what they have a surplus of and you can get it for a discounted price so you can see for 1300 gold i can buy these crates of raw sugar and there's going to be one of every Everything else except for the thing that they need so we're gonna buy everything though okay not just the raw sugar so we're only buying three at the discounted price but we're purchasing everything and again this is gonna make more sense as we go forward but every outpost that we stop at we're going to buy everything so at this point we're gonna fast forward a little bit so we were at plunder we stopped by ancient spire and we've moved on to Moro's peak okay so this is our third stop and we did the same thing at ancient spire that i'm going to show you here you're going to jump off look at the book you're going to say oh, what does moro's peak want they want unrefined spices so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to sell my unrefined spices to moro's peak outpost and nothing else and i'm going to buy everything that she has so keep in mind about purchasing uh, my buddy has purchased this time. So if you're in a crew, you want to rotate who's money. purchasing the items so that you're not having one person spending all the gold because you do need to spend gold in order to buy these crates. So you want to kind of rotate that with who you're, you know, who you're rolling with so everybody can pop profit insanely, guys. This is an insane profit. So we're only selling, you can see our unrefined spices and you can see as we sell them, our emissary value is going up and it goes up pretty quickly. So we're already emissary rank two so now we're turning him in we're going to get a little bit extra gold for the emissary value so we're getting 4700 just for the inflated price plus the emissary bonus that we're getting 
for being grade two. And we're gonna rank that emissary up as we go because we're gonna sail around the Sea of Thieves and we're gonna stop at every single outpost, okay? And this is the beauty of this method because we're making 80 to 100K just for sailing in between outposts. So now we're at Daggertooth Outpost. So we went from Moro's Peak to Galleon's Grave where we did the same thing. And now we went from Galleon's Grave to Daggertooth Outpost. So you can see my homeboys are bringing in the new crates and we've got all the crates separated on the you know deck of the ship by what type they are. So we know we only sell the correct ones. So you can see I have a stack of tea here because if I look at the book, it says Daggertooth is willing to pay extra for unprocessed tea, right? So now I've got all this tea. I'm gonna sell all of it for an inflation price all right so now we're five stops in so keep this in mind now we're stacking now we're moving on two more okay so we went to sanctuary outpost and now we're at golden sands so we did the same thing at sanctuary outpost and you can see golden sands is our last stop before it, you know we technically get to plunder again and we're gonna just do this we're gonna just make a circle around the sea of thieves and now from now on Every single stop that you make, you should have eight items that you're going to sell for an inflated price, three of which you bought at a low price, right? And so you can see I'm going to turn in eight here, and I'm, the sugar is one of the least valuable, but even as an emissary grade four, I'm making almost 8K per item. All right? So if you do this and say you get the minerals, which sell for about 5K per, you get about 13 total thousand if you're grade five emissary plus the turn in value. Now, the last thing to mention is that it does take three days for the stock at every outpost to refresh, but one trip around the Sea of Thieves should take about three days. And if you do that, you're gonna get all of the commendations pretty quickly, including the master of shifted, uh, shifted stock. You're gonna make literally guys 80 to 100K per stop just for selling in between outposts so hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully i'll see you on the seas